Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, 10th house stelliums, Saturn aspect heavy charts, and any other Capricorn flavor. Welcome to the next edition of Cap Corner. Oh, we have ourselves at the bottom of the deck. I love it. I love it. Some of you are experiencing with out of body experiences. I felt, oh, Hold on. That's right. <laughs> They're shoving that message out to have me tell you the important message. The important message is that all that matters is love and truth. And anything that's not love and truth, you need to just kind of reject. Throw it away. Leave it for, leave it, just leave it alone. Let it, let it be gone. And they're telling me, okay, they're telling me that it's connected to the other thing that I was trying to tell you first before I was interrupted. Just kidding. Love and truth are the vibrations with which to create and achieve. So those of you that are experimenting with out-of-body experiences and astral traveling, first of all, be careful. Second of all, it's... It's that vibration that you want to align yourself with is what they're telling me. They want you to know that, that it's love and truth. And that if you're trying to achieve anything, that um, that's the way to do it, to use that. That's all they're, they're smiling. That's all they want to give you. They're not going to give you like step by step by step instructions on like how, <laughs> but that's just what they want you to know. <laughs> the part about love and truth okay so what do we have for for the Capricorn I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a Celtic cross spread Ooh. oh no they just gave it to me they gave me this oh, one of the first messages like yesterday is they wanted me to start with a moonology card and then do a popper on that so here we go cap corner oh I miss you guys how are you how are my Capricorns how are the Caparoos? Well, this would be interesting. The message is, and then on the bottom of the deck, the message is it's time to take action. New moon in Aries energy, which is interesting because we're in Libra season. So there's a lot of Libra placements in the sky which is our solar 10th house of career. So it's going to be a natural sort of energizing square to whatever we have in Capricorn. And Aries is on that axis as well. It's the exact opposite of Libra. So this is the active acting principle. So this is what it's going to be about, what you need to take action on. And then on the bottom of this deck, we have show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius energy. I love it. I love it. Show the world the real. So I'm going to pull this one as well. So now we have, it's time to take action and show the world the real you. So, and I don't feel like it's because you're not doing this or contemplating this as above, so below. I feel like there is already something that you're thinking of even just without even pulling tarot cards. That's in your mind. And now you're just gonna wait for me to talk about it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Let's do it's time to take action first. What's the message here? It's time to take action for the Capricorn that I'm channeling. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Saturn heavy charts, 10th house stelliums, any other cap, it's called an affinity, a Capricorn affinity. So if someone has like zero Capricorn, but they have a 10th house stellium, four or more planets in their 10th house, doesn't even need to be ruled by Capricorn. It's a Capricorn affinity. Mm. I told you, I knew I was connecting with a Capricorn that's literally actively trying to manifest something. And I feel like you are, oh, that's what I was saying before, that you are experimenting with out-of-body experiences. 
Now that can be applied in very different, it could be, it could be very different for each and every one of you. So when I say out of body experiences, I can mean astral traveling where you are, it's kind of like what you do when you're dreaming, right? You, you kind of go to sleep and you, your, your astral body kind of leaves and goes and does things. For some of you, it's drugs, it's alcohol, it's getting outside of your body, it's, it's using a chemical, using something that your body is going to react to to separate yourself from your body. But all of this is because you're trying to actually achieve something. Like there's a goal, like the magician isn't able to take power from above and through desire bring it down into manifestation because he feels like it. You know what I'm saying? There's an ulterior motive here. There's a motive, there's an agenda, it's your agenda. So what is it? What is it, what is it? But you're showing up extremely powerful. And you've gone and gotten the High Priestess. Literally, literally, literally one and two. One and two, guys. One and two. Ah, uh, You're dangerous. I say that as a compliment. I say that as a compliment because with the Magician and the High Priestess, it, number one, it's a natural progression. Number two, it's, it's a marriage of two potent elements of manifestation. Intuition, subconscious activity, knowledge of everything. She holds all of the secrets of the universe in that scroll and she keeps it hidden in her, in her little cloak. Like, you know. And, and she just sort of keeps it. There's a, there's a balance of positive and negative forces. There's, oh, that's right. I, oh, behind her, if you look through the threads right here, you see the water behind her. And then on this side, you see more water that she's like at a beach or something. But what we have here is a Capricorn no, it's you. It's not someone that I'm connecting through you. This is you or it's not you. It's very clear. Very clear. Hey, cross watchers. You're getting there. You're going to get it. It's time to take action because you're ready. I'm connecting with a Capricorn who's been waiting to pull the trigger, who's been waiting to initiate, who's been waiting to command it's like you i feel a little bit of a maturity here where you're actually holding you're holding this power back and you're practicing like i said you're either practicing these out of body experiences or you're reading about out of body experiences or you're i mean i started to spontaneously just earlier this morning i was just sitting just being my Natalie self, just sitting in, and I just felt myself starting to like lift. Okay, and it's number one, it's been an extremely long time since I spontaneously astral traveled. And number two, yeah, if it's not my intention, it's, it's, I'm like, what's going on? What's, what is this? So I'm feeling like it's one of you. You could be experimenting with astral travel and you could be, it's sort of like they're showing me like the training wheels, like you're learning like a little baby psychic, learning to, to like flex these psychic muscles. So some of you, um, you know, into the occult or message, I just feel that I'm getting that from you. Or it's an extremely heightened sense of things that you're experiencing. So you could be sort of lightheaded, you're meditating, you are tuning into your own psychic abilities, you're getting your own downloads, you're getting your own sort of frequency dialing here. What I'm picking up is that you have a relationship to the world and life around you. And that relationship it has changed over time. Where before you were this little lamb in a world of wolves. Okay. Fast forward a decade, two decades, three, four, five decades, however long until now, 
and now you're at this point, and I know we're at the beginning of the Major Arcana, the Magician and the High Priestess, but it's sort of interesting because the High Priestess is actually the one that knows everything. So she shows up early on, but she actually knows everything. So it's a it's a card of wisdom. It's a it's an icon of wisdom, and that's what this is here. Is that I'm connecting with a Capricorn who is now taking stock, taking a breather of everything that has happened in the past to build up to this wise, responsible, mature person who needs to be told it's time to take action instead of blowing their load and, and, and self-sabotaging or doing something premature. I mean, it's a sign of wisdom. It's a sign of maturity when you hold back from something because you want to make sure that it's like absolutely perfect, that it's done right, that it's appropriate, that you're seeing it all clearly. I mean, it's just, it's just very mature and very leader-like. I'm getting a leader quality with this because of this new moon in Aries energy. Aries is another cardinal sign. So whatever you're doing, it's very important to you. Whatever you've, and I feel like this is a very Saturnian thing for Cap Corner, pretty appropriate, is that you're, that you, this is a long-term thing. This is delayed gratification, sort of. That's what I'm getting from this. Like you've been manifesting, manifesting. I don't know if you chant, if you do mantras, if you do, I don't know, whatever your own, if you pray, maybe you've been praying a lot. If you, whatever your, whatever, how you, you're working with energy, you're using energy, your, your mechanisms that you've been applying because you have the white lilies of pure thought and the red roses of pure desire. It's a very united. They're showing me this thing that kind of fits perfectly in like puzzle pieces. It's very complementary energies. And with the High Priestess here, with the Crescent Moon, with the even um, energy balance, with the pomegranates and the palms of fertility, you have an endless supply of this energy. What's the next message? This is a heavy cap corner. Welcome back. Okay. The Page of Cups. Ooh, that's why you're waiting. That's I feel like this is why you this is your excitement. This is the actual this is like the real desire. So this is like the mature front facing sort of Capricorn where this is how you are when you're managing this, when you're being serious about it, when you're really seriously thinking about this, about manifesting what you want, bringing something from the ethers down into physical manifestation and what the um, the psychic and the energetic environment around you is, getting a feel for the right timing, letting your intuition guide you. This is the actual like little boy or little girl within you that is just so freaking excited for this. <laughs> This is, you're completely enamored with it. There's something very pure about this energy, this Page of Cups energy. It's puppy love. It's falling in love without understanding that it could go horribly wrong. Okay, it's whatever this is that you're waiting to take action on that's going to start rolling. I feel like it's going to start rolling very soon. Very soon. Oh, shoot, I forgot to, I wanted to do all of the, have all the planetary stuff out here for you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I feel like this is a burst. That there's a burst of information coming forward. That there's a burst of communication. Oh, just one card. I thought there were more. Oh, it's Justice. My Mother Major Arcana card. These are big energies. This is interesting because you have three Major Arcana cards. A little itty bitty page. And just before I got into this, I knew... 
I knew that I was connecting with someone who's connect who's working with who's working with their own energy. So you're you're observing yourself, you're working with your own energy. What this is showing us with these three major arcana energies is that this is all fate and destiny. So what this is telling me is that you are finally aligned you're actually aligned with the universal energies at play here. I'm connecting with the Capricorn who's feeling really good, who's feeling really accomplished spiritually, where you didn't let the wolves turn you into a big bad wolf. You were able to stay within the pure energy of this lamb that you were ushered into the world as. You didn't let everything that happened to you define you because you're still Page of Cups inside. For a Capricorn, everyone thinks Capricorn's like the old, grody, crusty, bitter old man of the Zodiac. And we're just yelling at everyone to get off our lawns and we're just, you know, cranky, bitter old ladies who hate men and who are ball breakers and we're greedy and we're tired and we're overworking and like all these negative manifestations and the truth, the truth is, or I guess the other truth, cause we all know those Capricorns. The other truth is that when you meet an evolved Capricorn, when you meet a spiritually aligned Capricorn, they're going to be the greatest asset that you have in your life, whether you know it consciously or not. That's just the truth. If you don't have a responsible Capricorn, and, and a, like a, a spiritually mature Capricorn in your corner, you need to get one cross watcher. Okay. Seriously. Like if you don't have a Capricorn that you can rely on in your life, you need, you need one. You need, you need to be able to have a mental breakdown and the Capricorn come over to like make your food and cook for you and help take care of the mundanity and the minutia and the tedium of everyday functioning life and to coach you into picking yourself up by your bootstraps and living to die another day because Cap's been there and we've overcome poverty we've overcome abuse we've like that's the thing is that when you don't let the world control you and tell you what you're going to be who you're going to be the ener the energies that you're going to channel when you take your power back what you've done and what you're doing capricorn because this is willful this is extremely willful and the way you're directing your will capricorn is very spiritually evolved it's very mature which is, I'm getting, I'm enjoying this so much right now because I can tell like when I woke up this morning, I felt like, I felt you with me, okay? So when you make the decision for yourself who you're gonna be and you decide whether to hold on to anger or let it go and you decide how you're gonna manifest your life and you make these free will decisions, and you take responsibility for your own happiness and your own self and your own growth and your own success when all when you come like total full circle you're delightful you're absolutely charming and delightful and sweet and remember capricorns have this reverse aging process so we get better as we get older okay when i was 18 i was not cute i was not i was so Awkward doesn't even scratch the surface of what I was. Okay, let me put it this way. I, I didn't, I couldn't control my energies. I had, I was just a very sensitive channeler of all kinds of crazy fucking energies. Okay, so it was a real fucking crazy time in my life. I'm just kidding. But you know what I'm saying is that think back to your life, Cappies. Okay, think back to your youth and look at you now. Like, don't you feel better now? Like, we're... The reverse aging is internal and external. So we're going to physically look better the older that we get. And emotionally, we're so serious as children. We're so hard on ourselves as young adults. And we're so mean to ourselves 
going through life that as we age and get older the valve loosens we're nicer to ourselves we're kinder to ourselves we take better care of ourselves we are speaking to ourselves with kinder language and we are actually able to let loose a little bit more have now part of that is because we've already went and conquered business and we can actually financially support ourselves very independently and that's one of the big things that we're so stressed about is 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 money and wealth and, and expectations and all that stuff so that's why this energy is coming up this page of cups is because the capricorn that i'm connecting with has either not allowed them their real hearts their real who they really are be changed and affected by by the shit of the world or i'm connecting with a capricorn who's regained this part of themselves to bring it back into their into their personality i thought we were going to get the chariot for capricorn for cap corner oh i didn't even get to the justice part that was just the page of cups so so Ooh, and we're in Libra season, October. October is going to see a very big shift. Actually, we also have a Mercury retrograde coming up. There is going to be justice brought to a situation that you have been watching, that you have been waiting on. You will know when it's time to take action. And I feel like some of you already have. It's something... And I don't feel like it's action, like, let's go do something big. This feels like something simple, like making a phone call, sending an email, sending a text message, answering a DM. It's something that starts the ball rolling with this. And like I said, it's something that you've been trying to manifest. So it's, it's something that you've taken action on before. It's something that you've been trying to get going, that you've been watching, that you've been growing, that you've been, and it could be anything. It could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be a project. It could be a creative pursuit. It could be children. It could be, okay, so those are just some examples. With justice, you're going to get it. With justice, you'll get the, the justice, the cosmic justice is coming down on your side is what I'm saying here because the cosmos is the one weighing the scales and it'll be the cosmos to put down the sword of, okay, how did everyone do? It's the end of the year. Let's look at the behavior reports of all the kids in class and let's see how everyone did. And let's go ahead and hand out treats. That's what this is. That's what I feel like anyway. Let's see, let's start clarifying. And then what we'll do for the extended is we're gonna do, we're gonna do show the world the real you, what that really means and how to use the real you when you're doing this. Because I do feel like there's some temperance here with your energies, Capricorn. I feel like you're sort of, you're so wise and mature now about the mistakes you made in the past that you don't want to repeat them. So I, I'm picking up an insecurity also. I'm picking up an insecurity with you that you don't want to fuck this up. Even though you're super all powerful and you have control of yourself and you meditate or you pray or you, you're bringing the power from above and to benefit, even, you know, even though all of that, there's still that Capricorn, like we just want to be sure. We, until it's in the bag, we're still going to be a little bit You know, so this is going to tweak you out a little bit, show the world the real you, because you're a little bit insecure about this, Capricorn. You're a little bit insecure about messing this up by being who you really are. You're afraid of losing control of who you really are. So who you really are, showing that to the world, is a little bit risky for you. So we're going to get into that in the extended. But for right now, while the 
little itty bitty time we have left, I want to clarify this. The Magician, the High Priestess, the Page of Cups, and the Justice card. I mean, this is big energy for whatever. This is very situational. This is you or it's not you. It's very, very specific for me, the way it feels. It feels very unique to me. Okay, so let's start with the Magician, please. Let's clarify the Magician for the Capricorn. Ooh, that was quick. Ooh, interesting. This one came out first, and then these two kind of shuffled out afterwards. That's hilarious. Capricorn. Now things get kind of juicy, right? So this is you trying to manifest your opportunity. Your oppor <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. There's a murder of perfect timing. There's like a murder of crows that live here with me and they just all went. <sighs> oh, there's some drama going on. I'm sorry. Okay. So this is you trying to manifest this opportunity. This is the universe, the cosmos giving you some turbo boost. So you get the opportunity. It's time to take action. This is your signal. Like, mer, mer, mer. you're going to get this where you're going to get visible, tangible proof that the universe has your back on this. And that'll be your signal of when to go. Okay. Now, what we have behind this, literally kind of dragging behind this, the two cards that came out, we have the page of wands another both wands and the five of wands the five of staves you're gonna hear see you're kind of not the unabomber don't give me that you're kind of like the you're the weird old guy with the long white beard that lives in the cabin in the woods like doing your own thing thinking your own thoughts doing funny energy experiments. You're a little bit different, Capricorn. The Capricorn I'm connecting with. Your, your role in this has been distance. It's been removed. That's why you are working so hard on your own by yourself to manifest energetically because you're not connecting with other people in this. Okay? That's why it's been like this. So if you're waiting to hear about a job, if you're waiting to hear about, you know, it's... it's it, a relationship it's all going on like kind of not with you right in the forefront so with this page of wands and the five of saves what this is is news hold on sorry i have to like cross my legs just feels better this is news of conflict so by the time you get into this capricorn there's already been <sighs> there's already been drama there's already, they have to, this is still working itself out that you don't know about. So it could be people that disagree about whatever this is, you know, just either the what or the how or the who or the why they're just fighting about it. You don't need to concern yourself with that because out of this is your opportunity to come in and mend the situation because now you look like the only person that can solve their problem. Get it. Let's move on. High Priestess. Let's clarify the High Priestess. Eight of Pentacles. Fuck. Okay, this is what I love about this. The Eight of Pentacles is a mastery card. It's a card of mastery. It's a card of I am the skilled craftsman of making pent like seriously the way he's got like all of the pentacles on the wall he's he's and the way he's like tirelessly working on another pentacle this is the master craftsman and so with the high priestess this is why it's time to take action capricorn because you've come up not up to the hilt of your powers but you are ready you have such a good handle on yourself on your own energies on your intuition above all else that the universe can trust you now in a position of power to use your intuition wisely. The universe now knows that you are ready for power, wealth, control, because it's about wielding power judiciously and not everyone knows how to wield power judiciously. Judiciously. The universe sees you sharpening your skills. 
oh, out of body experiences. Oh, okay. They're, they're on the right track. They're going in the right direction because in order to have successful directable out of body experiences, you have to have an, an, a certain kind of connection with yourself. You have to know yourself in order to be able to be psychic, to do, to control your psychism, to control the intuitive faculties, to, to do all of that. You've got to know yourself. You have to have you have to have a self-awareness to know when you are experiencing something, whether it's yours, whether it's someone else's energy. It's, it, it's, it's just a little bit evolved. So I'm, this is going to be for a small schmidgen of you, but it's going to, if it's for, sometimes my readings are just for one person. And if it's for the one person that needs to hear it, I'm here to serve. Okay. I'm just, that's how this goes. So universe is saying Capricorn is ready. Just like that. Okay. Let's clarify the Page of Cups for the... What is it? Ooh, another wand card. The Queen of Wands. That is sexy. Why? Because you didn't let the world make you into a horrible, shitty person. And it's making you super attractive to everyone that talks to you. The Queen of Wands is like the sexy queen. Remember in um, Love Actually... I think it's January Jones talking to that other guy and they're talking about oh you haven't met Harriet oh you're totally gonna like her because she's the sexy one and they're all super hot and sexy this is the sexy one of the tarot queens the queen of wands is the sexy one she's the one you know she's she's got the fire she's got she's got a little some some she's got the sizzle okay and remember it's the sizzle not the steak so you've got that going for you right now, right now, Capricorn, okay? So what is this telling you? The fiery queen of wands, it's the fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. What are their hallmark characteristics? Self-expression, which we're going to get to in the extended. But it's about being who you are. The more you are who you are and let that shine, let this, what you keep really secret, bottled out, deep 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 inside that you're trying to protect so no one fucks with you got to bring it and put it out in front so that everyone can appreciate it because you're strong enough now to not let anyone take that from you if all of the years of abuse and trauma that you've survived hasn't taken that away from you capricorn no one else will from now on so you can let that fear go we're gonna i know i'm going over we're gonna clarify the justice and then there's a whole other spread about showing the world the real you that we've got to get into for cat corner so justice please can we please clarify the justice card why is this justice card here what is it you guys what did i just say of all the poverty and depression and trauma and abuse that you overcame what's gonna bring what justice is what cosmic justice will be brought to the capricorn in this situation that you were fucking rejected, that you were left out in the cold, that you were abandoned, that you were betrayed, that you were left for dead. Raise your hand if you're a Capricorn who was left for dead. Okay, it's like that's like all of us. Okay, so justice is going to come to amend this. The justice is going to set this straight so that you're not. Um, this is this is huge. This is like. It's time to take action. You're at this point. You're not here right now. I'm not saying that. You're not here right now. This is not your reality. This is the past. But it's still a little bit of a wound. It's still a little bit of a pain. It's still a little bit of a gooey sore spot. Okay? It's like someone who overcame poverty and now they're holding like a political office. And they're getting interviewed about, you know... Um, something embarrassing of, of living that life of poverty and they kind of like shift in their seat going well I actually wanted to talk about foreign policy but since you're asking me about you know it's something like that where we know about the past Capricorn I'm your Capricorn like whatever whatever you know other people they're not going to maybe know that right away unless you give that to them if you let them know that but what we're telling you here what the cosmos is telling you is that the universe has your back and the universe is going to balance your scales. Okay, Capricorns logged a lot of really negative, sad, depressing shit in their past. Let's 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 make that right and now look at where they are. 
this is where you were and this is where you are now where you are now this super great manifester of arcane knowledge and using your superpowers and, and developing your abilities and using it for good and staying who you are and all this all this good stuff so now the universe is going to answer this okay you earned it capricorn okay so this is it's supposed to be 30 minutes on youtube i know i went over because i mean it's capricorn and I'm Capricorn. Um, so in the extended, in the extended, we're gonna do another spread, a double layer spread with both tarot decks with this energy leading the way. Show the world the real you. This has a this is a whole other part to play with it's time to take action. Because we know right here that you being who you really are is only gonna help you in this endeavor. So we're gonna get more information on this like conflict that's going on and and how you being you is going to be your success the secret to your success okay capricorn if this is resonating i will see you on the other side if this is resonating and i don't see you on the other side i will see you in the daily tomorrow um you guys know how this works you guys know that i'm psychic and that you guys connect with me first and then i I give your energies back to you. So all of this could resonate. Part of this could resonate. If it doesn't resonate, just let it go for the next Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Stellium, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, guys, if you need to book a personal reading with me, you can do so down below, downstairs, theartigan.com slash shop. And I am, and that's why we're not doing any weeklies or monthlies for October. It's for me to catch up on personal readings because, um, it helps me. I, I'm actually spending a lot of time out of my body doing personal readings. So if you'd like a personal reading and you feel like we have a good connection, go ahead and book me and I will be very, very happy to psychically spy for you. Take care, everyone, and I will see you next week for Cap Corner. Good luck. Bye.